Morning guys, it's me, Goodwill Hunter. It is Saturday. We're gonna go up to the flea market up at Jefferson Junction, and then maybe head over to uh, Pendergrass. It's uh, Georgia's supposedly largest uh, indoor flea market. So I got my got my QT and my breakfast burrito. So ready to rock. Uh, I didn't really find anything yesterday, so I didn't really film anything. Actually, I did, but I didn't find anything. So I'm just gonna delete it. And we're gonna save some space, and uh, we're gonna go up uh, now. It's a little bit overcast, so hopefully it's not raining up there. Uh, it's supposed to be really nice today. It's supposed to be about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's that. So anyways, yeah, it's gonna take me a little bit to get up there, so I gotta hit the road. So catch you guys later. Taser. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, well, we're out of Pendergrass and back home. Uh, we didn't stop anywhere else. I tried to find a thrift store around there, but I couldn't find it. Uh, it's supposed to be some sort of thrift outlet in Jefferson, but uh, it wasn't there. I did find an antique mall, but again, it's only antiques. There's a lot of antique uh, places around here, especially here I'm in the Lawrenceville, Goodwill area. There's two in the shopping center, but they're just antiques and no games. But uh, I did find a couple things up at Pendergrass. Uh, there's the footage you saw with all those games that I panned over. This guy has an awesome selection of games. Unfortunately, his prices are batshit crazy. He wanted like $150 for Super Mario RPG. Um, it's just hit or miss. Tried to get him to slip on some of the N64 games, but his prices were either dead on or way above. So I went to another seller that I usually go to that I can get some pretty good bundle deals, and I found a couple of games. So for 20 bucks, I got a copy of F-Zero X and a loose copy of Ernest Evans. Uh, you see it was eight bucks, but I took them together. She took, you know, I said, hey, will you do 20 on both? She just said, okay, that's fine. Uh, Ernest Evans actually by itself is a $20 game. I was checking online and it usually sells for about 20 bucks. Um, so I'm thinking about, it looks to be in good condition. I'll have to see about getting this label off. I'll probably use that blow dryer. Uh, but it should come off and it, you know, it's got some, some uh, schmutt on there. I'll have to use some Goo Gone to get that off. Um, hopefully, don't damage the label any further. But that was pretty good for twenty bucks. Um, I've heard Ernest Evans is kind of like uh, El Viento, and I think another game, kind of in that same series, or maybe by the same company. It has a lot of weird motions, and you kind of play like uh, Indiana Jones, but you're not. You're Ernest Evans. So, anyway, so let's go on into the Goodwill, see what we can find. All right, guys. Well, we did get some stuff in that Goodwill. Uh, perfect timing they were just putting something into the case I'll show you at the end of the video it's a big bag and it's actually in the back of the car um, but it was only 25 bucks and it's got a lot of the nice little things it's very dirty uh, it's gonna require some extra parts from Aliexpress so I'll have to order some of that stuff uh, but I think for 25 bucks it's a really good deal solid deal um, and I also found one other thing that's in the back as well but we're over here in Lawrenceville off of Riverside at the Goodwill and uh, hey, let's keep the streak alive, see what we can find. Maybe they've got some DS games or some bundles or controllers. So let's head on in, guys, see what we can find. What's going on, everybody? It's me, Justin, aka Good Will Hunter. We are in the garage. I got the bag. It is now Saturday. Uh, so I didn't film it when I got home. So sue me, all right? But in this bag, we got some goodies. I went back and I got this only because it was only two bucks and I could probably sell it for 20 to make up for what I spent on the big item. So I found this TI 5052. It's a calculator, but it uh, spits paper out so you can type on it. And it's brand new, well, semi new. Looks like it was $29.99 at Eckerd. So maybe that's 1988, assembled in Malaysia. But this is the bundle, all right? This is the bundle that I got for $25, all right? It is 25 bucks for a Wii. See, it's got this Wii. Comes with two games. Looks like it's got Need for Speed Carbon and Skylanders Giants. And it's in some sort of weird juke jukebox. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what this is. Apparently, it's got two USB plugs, so I'm guessing it plugs in here. I don't know what it does. Maybe you put, looks like you could put an SD card in here. I uh, Honestly, it has a little display. I, I don't know. If anyone knows what that is, oh yeah. And it came with a WaveBird receiver. It came with a silver game controller. I'm gonna have to replace that joystick, but it looks to be in working condition, but in fucking gross shape. Look at that. Can you, can you see the grime? I mean, you probably can't, but I'm telling you, dude, this thing is grody. The whole thing is grody. I have to wash my hands after it. Came with the power brick, AC, or not AC, AV, the sensor bar. Came with a wave bird. Again, gonna have to replace that. Uh, but it did have the battery cover, 
and uh, it looks to be like it'll work because I got the receiver. So if that one's an extra, I'll have to clean it up. And you just look. Can you see, Albert? What did you do to this? Uh, it came with a Wiimote. Classic controller. Look how gross that looks. That's just filthy. And it came with another Wiimote and Nunchaka. Or Nunchaku. So that's, again, good. Uh, and then the last thing it came with, which was an added bonus, was a portal for Skylanders. And it looks like it came with a bunch of characters. So it's all taped to together. So let's open it and see what we got. Yeah, I'm going to need a knife. Okay, what did we get? We got, uh, I don't know. We got this guy. He apparently is a skull. He's got one skull guy, or shadow, I don't know what they call it. Woohoohoo! A cannon. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Looks like it maybe lights up. We got this hawk dude. Pew, 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 pew. He is, I'm guessing, air. Again, I don't know anything about these things. We got this little fungus man with a slingshot. He apparently is maybe a vegetable or leaf. Don't know what this is. It appears to be a skull. Looks like... Looks like it used to be something, a person, but it's broken. We got this big badass guy. He must be one of the giants. He also looks like he's a leaf. And last, but not least, it looks like we have Spyro's love interest. <laughs> I don't know. And it looks to be, again, shadow or something. And the portal, so. So for 25 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. You get the Wave Bird, which by itself, you could probably sell for 30, 35. Skylanders, I could probably sell those as a lot for 20, 20 bucks. Uh, the Wii Classic Controller, awesome find. Two Wiimotes, one Nunchuck, solid deal. So again, guys, make sure to comment below. Uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down if you really want to. Again, does not matter. Uh, as always, guys, keep up the thrift, and I'll keep on thrifting in your face. <gasps>What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Captain Retro's channel. It's time for another quick up pickups. Quick up pickups? Something like that. Quick pick video of the stuff I've picked up in the last week. We're going to get right to it. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Beat'em Ups shirt. I got this from my buddy Wood over at Beat'em Ups uh, down in Retro Palooza, Houston. And uh, we're going to miss him at too many games this year up in Philly, but we'll see him at other places, I'm sure. Uh, what up, 